All right, here I have a glass with an ice cube in it, correct? Okay. If that ice cube melts, what happens to the lime? And the answer is, if the ice cube melts, that water is still there, correct? Nothing will happen to the surface. So if this melts, that melts, nothing happens. Nothing. Yeah. Let's say I have, I have a stack of cubes. that's touching the bottom of the glass, correct? If that stack melts, okay, if the stack melts, then if that stack melts and the water level will rise, depending upon the size of the and you'll get water for the sun. Okay. Now, this is especially significant in terms of the ocean and whether or not melting glaciers and melting ice will raise the level of the oceans. And the answer is this. If the ice that's melt, if the ice that's that melts is is already floating around around Antarctica, then the 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 level of the ocean will not rise. But if the if the material melting is touching the bottom of the ocean and it all melts, then it will raise the level of the oceans. If the ice melting is on the continents and runs into the ocean, it will also raise the level of the oceans. But ice that's in the ocean around Antarctica, that's not touching the bottom of the ocean, is not going to affect sea level rise. It will only affect sea level rise if that water that's frozen is touching the bottom and out of the ocean. Or if it's land-based ice, will it raise the level of ocean?